Welcome to the spring clean video. So we are going to dive in this month and we are gonna talk about decluttering. We are gonna talk about dusting up the dust, getting rid of things, organizing, vacuuming, and just really getting things in order. We are starting in our closet, my husband and I, and the dust that has accumulated up in these corners. Can you see that? All the way through after we removed everything. Now watch this. This was so gross when we did this. Look at the dirt back there. So we're gonna get the vacuum and we're gonna get into these corners. Well, we're gonna do the same thing with our Bible study this month. Now, does it take work? Of course it does. Look at this room. I mean, everything takes work. But once we're done, everything will be in order. You'll see what you have for staples. We'll know our staples in the Word of God, which I think is so, so important. And we'll walk away feeling renewed, rejuvenated, and refreshed. And sisters and welcome to the spring cleanup bible study today we are going to be heading into week one but before we get there let me just go over again the gist of the layout and how we are going to study again you are going to definitely want some bible the gel bible uh, highlighters that you can find over in my amazon store but these are great we are going to be using these along with the bible code chart as we look at each verse, we can understand what the Lord is saying to us. I will get to that in one second. So of course we have our cover page, and then of course we have our April. You can find this calendar over at heatherbaxter.com. You can find the schedule of the April calendar in every session, what we are learning, under the April study page. There'll be week one in all the videos in the spiritual prompts and just the questions to help you make applications or use your SOAP, S-O-A-P, uh, handout, which we're gonna talk about in a second. So all of that will be there so you can learn to add on to your notes as the Holy Spirit begins to help you think about your life and decluttering um, your space, your home, your temple, so you can have peace. You can get rid of things and create space for more of what is good and more of what is beautiful in your life. So that is what we're going to be doing each week. Remember, your calendar is set up. So on Sunday, you can join us for those live studies. And then, of course, we have journaling Saturday, which is just like a catch up day for you. And then you can see on the calendar that we have a couple different dates and when we're doing our lives, there's two that will be on Saturday this month. If you are doing the study and it's not April, we always do live studies on Friday. So please join us for those Friday live studies. And if you're not in this study and you're just listening right now and you're unsure, the Friday live studies are perfect for anyone. Always remember you're never behind, you're right on time. You could listen to a lesson out of any of uh, the lessons that we're going to teach this whole entire uh, series, and you will walk away with the Holy Spirit revealing something to you um, that is good and beautiful, and it'll just help line your life up, I promise you. So we're going to be doing a lot of things about decluttering and dusting and sweeping and getting into the corners of our lives with this study. Um, but let's go ahead and let's now go ahead and take a look at week one. is week one. In week one, we are looking at something called the spring cleaning list. Now this cleaning list, I'm hoping that you can just tuck this away and use this as a spiritual guide for you to learn how to put on your new self and kind of create that likeness in God and in his righteousness and holiness 
by looking at some basic things. Now, I would refer back to this each day, even when you get into your other weeks that we have here. So I'll talk about that in a second, but we have other weeks, week two, three, and four. This is the overall checklist that's going to help you um, brain dump. And we're going to talk about that brain dump page right here in just a second. I love brain dumping, but I think we often need to brain dump clutter. We need to brain dump dirt. We need to brain dump our past and we need to brain dump some things that we need to vacuum up. But sometimes writing the things down that we actually need to vacuum up helps us make a plan uh, to keep our soul clean. And that's what we want to do. We want to keep our soul clean. But just as your house, dust and clutter and dirt in the past is going to creep into your soul just as it creeps into the house, into the corners of the house. So we have to have a game plan. This is going to be our game plan to keep our soul clean throughout the rest of the year. This is a tool that you can, you can have forever to commit um, to keeping your soul clean. Now also committing to join this Bible study, committing to join every single month with whatever study it is, is only going to help you in organizing peace and unity, learning about self practices that you can have to put on that new self and be renewed in the image of your creator. So every month we're going to have a study. This month we're going to become fully awake to some things we should be cleaning all the time and leaving room to dust out some things. Just like me, I leave room in my schedule, my monthly planner schedule to clean. So we need to do the same thing. We need to plan on time to clean. So we're gonna talk today, week one, we're gonna go to day one. So this is day one, day two, day three, day four. Now, if you're one that starts on Monday, I consider this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday is your live study. On your live study, you will be given notes notes to kind of encompass everything that you learned this week and it'll be a message to help you become crystal clean in a certain way with what we learned you can add those to your notes to this study then we will go ahead and launch the following week each week if you want to see the intro video in the intro video, I talk about each week thoroughly, and you can check that out and exactly what we're going to learn each week. So for today, Mondays, I always turn the camera around and I show you what I actually worked on, how I did my notes. I think this helps. Now, what you're going to notice, ladies, is my notes are going to change every study, and that is because I want to help women learn different techniques and different ways of just studying and altering the way that they learn God's word. Because sometimes people have um, their own ways of visual learning and visual understanding. So some methods might work for you and you may wanna implement more of that method versus another method that we did. But I always think it's fun and inspiring to change things up and recharge us. All right, so today, we are gonna go ahead and use this note sheet and we are gonna look at the verses that we were asked to study today. So if we go back to that sheet, today we are talking about eliminating clutter. And we were to ask, we were asked to look up Hebrews 12, 1, Matthew 6, 31 through 34, and Ephesians 4 through 3. Um, and then I will talk to you more about some things that you're gonna eliminate. I gave you some ideas here, but in the brain dump, you can definitely put some more things down that are specific to the clutter in your life. So here is my sheets. We are doing the soap model. Of course, I put the title right here for the day. So it's Monday, you could put the date, eliminate clutter. Now I always read all passages silently. I read them in another version. Today I read them in the New Living Translation and then I read the verse out loud. That is something I do every morning in my little quiet space. Then you can see we're doing the soap model. Just so you understand the soap model ahead of time, this is what it looks like. Soap is going to be, S stands for scripture. I want you to physically write the scripture out. Now I know I might not have left you a lot of room here to do them. That is why you can turn the sheet over ladies and there's room on the bottom. So that is what that's for. I know I just didn't want to mess up the size of the boxes. I wanted to keep it nice. So you are to write out the scriptures there and you physically write them out. And you're gonna be amazed how God reveals to you when you physically write out. Now, if you're using a journal, this is the time to write it out in your journal. Or maybe you wanna just write the verses here and possibly use a different piece of paper or something to actually pin them out, that pen them out. That's gonna be up to you. 
O stands for observation. What did you see in the verses that you are reading? What is the audience in that verse? Is there a repetition of words? Is there a thought pattern that start, starting to come out? This is also a great place for you to go over to heatherbaxter.com, hit um, the daily study, which is April, and you will get reflection questions and a spiritual guide prompt. You'll find that. I would highly recommend that you get those reflection questions and the spiritual guide prompt to help you maybe observe some more things in your reading. A stands for application. This is when the word of God becomes personal. What is God saying to you through the title? Now, it's always important to understand the title. And obviously, our title today is Eliminate Clutter. So you constantly want to be thinking about clutter, the clutter in your life as you're reading those verses. The Lord's going to bring you into your specific clutter and you're going to start understanding what the God, what the Lord may be saying to you personally. What do you need to change? What action do you need to take? And then afterwards is formalizing a prayer, possibly, um, you know, using the three verses that you looked at. What kind of prayer can you formalize that's asking God to come in and help you become crystal clean? I love my little crystal clean packet. I have my broom, um, my dustpan, everything is ready here. So let's turn it over and let's go ahead onto page one together and work this sheet. All right, using our Bible code sheet, the two colors that were jumping out to me the most I used my green and my yellow highlighter. Here is the Bible code chart and what that represents. Green is any time we're making an adjustment in our life, a transformation, something that we need to go from point A to point B, an, an exchange that we need, need to make to become more obedient and experience a cleaner life. It's an action we have to take. And the Bible is usually showing us where we need to be obedient. Yellow is when we have a personal feeling, a personal cry out, or something that's going on personal in our life. So those are the two colors that I picked. So here is the first one in Hebrews 12.1. Um, it's talking about how we need to throw off, which reminds me of eliminating clutter, everything. So I highlighted this in green, throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles us and let us run with perseverance um, the race marked out for us. That is green. Everything about that is showing us that there's things we need to do. We need to learn what we need to throw off. We need to ask God what's entangling us. There's some self-examination here. In Ephesians 4.3, I also use the green because, again, it's obedience. Make every effort to keep unity of the Spirit. That's unity of Spirit in you. That's decluttering and getting organized so you can have peace. And then in Matthew 6, 31 through 34, I used the yellow because, to me, this is about do not worry. What are we worrying about? This is going to be a great place to brain dump. He knows what I need. And then I went to green, obedience. Seek first the kingdom and his righteousness and all shall be added. Do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow has its own worries. So what are you worrying about? We're going to talk about that. Then in O, this is the observation. I took each verse personally and wrote out keywords. Again, this is where I use the other translation to help me pull out keywords. So in Hebrews, I was feeling that the word throw off, hinders, slows you down, sin, the word entangles, that jumped up. In Ephesians, which I love it because it's in the gap, it's right in the gap of both of those, um, the word that jumped out was peace and unity. And I don't know why, but organization was huge. So as we're learning to clean, and get crystal clean and organize our life, we're gonna see that whatever we are keeping clutter and where those corners are um, creating clutter, that God's trying to bring us out so we can experience him by decluttering parts of our life, bad habits, um, sin. There's things that can entangle us. So this is going to be really good. I wanna have that piece. And then Matthew talks specifically about worry worry. He knows the need. Okay. He knows the need. So what are we worrying about that is actually cluttering our mind? And then it tells us to seek him first. Seek. So that word seek and run came up because run was in the Hebrew. So seek and run, seek and run. Is there something sort of, is there some sort of clutter that is not allowing me to seek him? My time management Again, goes back to unity and organization. When we find time for God, we're going to have peace and more unity and more organization. So then here in application, here's what I did. Now, I told you also in the introductory video that I tend to brain dump right after this. And I've always done this 
in every study. I might not have showed it, but I decided to show this this time. So this is more of a teaching brain dump. But after I read the scriptures, I will brain dump in areas of worry. So whatever the scripture is saying to me in keywords, what is my present situation? I always brain dump that. What are some things I need to throw off? Are there judgments right now that I'm struggling with? For me, I put certain foods. I need to throw off some certain things. I need to get better. Um, where, I need, where do I need to make an effort now and how? in order to be more organized. Where does that effort have to come in? And specifically this week, what's on my schedule this week? What are things that are going on in my life in this season, this week, right now, this month, that is going to help me? And then I just start brain dumping everything, everything on my to-do list, everything in my life, just some things. I just start to brain dump all these things. Now they might be worry, they might be schedule, they might be time management, whatever it is, I just kind of start to brain dump. And that just helps me get everything out of my mind. All the clutter goes here. All the clutter goes here. Then I will go back here and I will start to personalize what I studied. So what clutter do I need to throw off? Now, of course, I went ahead and I journaled in my personal journal on this. Again, that war binder, here's the video if you haven't watched it. In that war binder, I actually really sat and wrote this morning, what clutter do I need to throw off and why? What is entangling me? What fear, and fear could be a child, a relationship, a trust issue, um, fear of the future, fear of what you need to plan. I mean, the enemy throws little snakes out there, you know? So you're not too worried. So what things do I have to hand to God that I'm worrying about? Could be a marriage. So what, what worry? And again, I might look at my brain dump. I want to be organized and feel unity of peace in my home and my spiritual temple. So I loved Ephesians because it's talking about sensing the unity right up here. Here's the verse again. Look at this verse. I just loved this verse. Make every effort. So Heather, where are you not making effort? Are, do you have your morning time carved out? Do you have your girl space? Do you have a place where making effort is fun? Because when you make effort to spend time with God, you're seeking him, you're seeking his kingdom, and he's going to put order and peace when you do that. There's going to be a sense of unity. You will get more done than you could ever imagine, I promise you. So I asked myself down here, I want to be more organized and feel unity and peace in my home, my spiritual tem temple. What takes me out on rabbit trails of worry? What am I running in the wrong direction with? How am I setting time aside to seek his will for my life? These are questions that I'm going to ask. What is God saying to me about this? What do I need to change? What action do I need to take? And then I formulate a prayer using these scriptures. So today I said, Lord, when your word says all will be added to you and given to me, that is the peace and unity I want. Please give me that. Help me to seek and eliminate the clutter that is entangling me. Help me to trade it off and see the daily race you make out for me. And the Lord will clearly give you peace and unity. He will show you the organized race. He will show you maybe if you're planning on moving or switching a job or questions about your marriage. He's going to give you peace and unity in the mind, in your personal temple. How to handle it with God confidence. That is the peace and the unity that I want. That is what we're going to learn this whole week. So honestly, Ephesians is a key verse for me. I really felt the Lord telling me to take that verse with me all week and pretty much the whole schedule. I, I may be bringing this verse up the whole study because there's something about doing Bible study, being fully awake, engaging with God, and making every effort. Let's go back to this verse. Make every effort. So here I am creating Bible studies that God is showing me every single month so you ladies can create an effort and a routine. When you do that, you're keeping the unity of the Spirit in order in your life so you are able to have peace and hear the Lord. Hear the Lord. The enemy wants you to worry. The enemy wants to take you on a rabbit trail, but the Lord wants to add to you and give you peace that surpasses all understanding and he wants to give you a sound mind because the Lord's going to eliminate all that clutter. Praise God. Praise Jesus. So that is today's lesson. I would love to see your study over at the HB Women's Ministry community page. Remember, tomorrow is a day 
that you're going to just do your own writing and maybe discuss some questions in your small group. I have questions over on the um, Bible study page that you can use to, to um, help in your community group. You are definitely going to gain a lot out of this study with the topic and the verses that you have with the topic. So it's going to help you. The Holy Spirit is definitely going to move in you so that you can be recharged and speak to you about the areas and all the corners and everything that you need to spring clean and how you need to prepare your heart. So as we go through steps and we go through uh, refreshing lessons, um, ask the Lord to just help your soul feel that light and that refreshness from his verse. Ask the Lord to give you the exercises and the meditations and the, the devotions that you need to make the right steps to clean your house. I'm hoping the tools that are given to you are going to help you move in that direction. Again, heatherbaxter.com, you can grab these little highlighters. You can also grab a binder so you can start doing the studies with us every month and sticking them in your war binders. Those are also available. So again, I'm so excited to study with you. Uh, this month, and I will be back on for the next teaching session.